Well, I thought um, we didn't play well or sharp offensively. Um, as you obviously you look at the numbers, and I think I think at times because the ball wasn't going in the hole for us, it, it affected us on the defensive end. And uh, it was one of those gritty games where you got to figure out how to win the game when, especially, your ball is not going in. And you know, certainly when you look at our team, uh, what's made us special this year is we've been consistent having you know at least four guys in double figures, and tonight we didn't have that. I thought we had some good play from um, DJ. I thought he came in and did a good job. I thought Tequavion, he carried us early in the game, but a couple of our guys never really got into a flow. And offensively, we struggled. And when we struggled, you know, I thought we gave up some easy baskets on the other end. Obviously, today's kids, when the ball's not going in, offensively, sometimes it affects you on the defensive end. Got to get back in the gym, get better. Uh, we'll work on some things. Um, I have to stand up and take accountability and, and get us better on the offensive end where we'll figure out how to make some shots. Um, but it wasn't our night offensively tonight. Is that is that the best Jarkel's been guarded in a game this year? It seemed like they kind of set the tone of their defense. Going. Yeah, you know, Chip, I don't know that it was um, – and not, not to take away from pitch defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we missed shots. You know, I, I remember looking at the uh, – out there the game as we played and some of the shots that we normally would make, even his drives to the rim, he didn't finish. And, you know, um, certainly give them credit because they, they won the game. And I thought, obviously, it was a slugfest and you can win the game that way. But I just thought we missed a lot of easy shots that we normally would make. Seemed like Casey had a hard time kind of getting involved in the offense tonight. Didn't get a lot of good looks tonight for a guy yeah. that's been getting a lot, it seems like. Yeah, I think um, you know they did a good job getting back in transition. A lot of Casey's shots have come with him running the floor and getting out in transition. Um, I, I thought they um, they stayed at home. You know, when you were shooting the ball as well as he is, you know, they did a good job of staying at home. Reason reason why we got so many open looks to our post guys as they roll because they stay with our shooters a lot. Was there a point in the first half where you, and maybe at halftime you looked at the stat sheet, and 14 threes attempted, I believe, or 15 threes out of 34 shots? Was that a little too many threes? No, that's who we are. I mean, you know, that's, you know, we got, like, for example, I thought Jack got some great looks. None of them looked good as they came off. And um, certainly, you know, I thought we got some, T was hot early from three and made some shots. Um, it's just it was a weird night for us offensively, and uh, we wasn't clicking as I would hope we would be. And like I said, we got to get back in the gym and we got to get some shots up. Is this, is this the kind of game where having older players might help you for the next game? Where they've had bad games before. I mean, it's not the first night they've had bad shooting games. We're really able to bounce Maybe back quicker. Meaning individual quicker. Or team. Right, individual. I mean, you've got some guys on the team that are older players that have had bad college games shooting the ball, but they were able to put it behind them where a younger guy might. You know. Yeah, you know what, Chip, we got no Struggle choice. Yeah. You know, we got to move on. Um, you know, we the great thing about this, unfortunately, we lost our ACC opener. The great thing about it is we got 19 more of them to play. Mm -hmm. And we got to figure out how to get it back on the other end. And it uh, doesn't define us. It was a good game. Uh, give Pitt credit. Uh, we just got to go back to work and get ready for our next game and then our next one after that. The consensus in the locker room was similar to what you said. The defense was impacted by the offense. Is that going to be a focus maybe going into Coppin State and in that Miami trying yeah. to separate that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, but we hope we play better the way we've been playing offensively. And, you know, you feel bad for our guys because everything had gone well for them in this early season offensively. We've had great numbers against great teams. We talk about playing against the Kansas, Butler, and Dayton. And tonight, for whatever reason, we didn't shoot the ball well, and we got we got to get back to making shots. Joyner seemed to have confidence. He seemed to feel like he didn't force too much. It was just within the flow of the game, and it just was one of those days. Yeah. Are those shots that you were happy with, or did you? Yeah, if you, if you look back at all of Jock Hill's shots, they were shots he's taken all year long. He just missed them. You know, he's normally pretty good at his pull up and didn't make those. And uh, typically, he would get to the free throw line, didn't have a lot of opportunities there, and I thought he missed his. Um, it's three-point shot. So I know him, and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those guys would get to the gym later on. Not, not a mandatory thing, but I know those guys, and they, they'll be working on that shot. And, and we'll, we got to flush it. Um, what we did offensively, we got to figure out how to get better defensively and then get back in there and work and get ready for coffee. You kind of take solace in the fact, as you mentioned, that this is early in ACC season. You have a Reynolds game, and then you have another ACC game, so they're going to kind of come kind of pot heavy. 
over the next couple weeks? Yeah, you know, we got, you know, I, you know, certainly our home opener here, and we wanted to win it. And it's, the, and it's an ACC game, and you guys know how important these are. But at the end of the day, you can't put your head down. we got a lot more basketball to play. Uh, we've had a really good start to our season. And as I told the guys in the locker room, the only one loss, we didn't let the Kansas loss define us. We moved on, and we got to do the same thing with this one. Coach, when Jarkel and Jack Carter shooting as poor as they did tonight, not something that they used to do, what are you saying to them in the locker room or in the huddle? We're very encouraging. I mean, you know, I, one thing about guys who miss shots that normally make them, they're not trying to miss. And so we're trying to get them as much confidence as they can. Uh, we're asking them to do other things to affect the game. You know, one, one thing I told Jack is because Jack has been our best rebounder. Hey, go in there and get you an easy basket. Go in there and get you a, um, an offensive rebound, something to get you going. To And then sometimes it's, it's amazing how it works. If you get an easy basket, you get to the free throw line, you make a shot then all of a sudden the outside shot go on. So I'm telling those guys try to do a couple of other things to impact the game. Thanks, Coach.